In this tutorial video, we're going to have a look at integrating sine squared x and cos squared x. So first of all, let's have a look at integrating sine squared x with respect to x. So the way we do this, first of all, whenever we see the integral of sine squared x or cos squared x, we'll write down of cos of double that angle and expand that. Now we want to expand this only in terms of sine squared x. So this involves learning the trig identities, the double angle identities. So you've got to remember that cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And there's no substitute for just learning that fact. We're now going to rearrange that so that it says sine squared x equals. So we've got 2 sine squared x equals 1 minus cos 2x. So what I've done, I've taken the 2 sine squared x to that side and the cos 2x to the other side. Now halving it, we get sine squared x equals 1 half minus 1 half cos of 2x. So now we've got something that we couldn't integrate. We couldn't integrate the sine squared x and we've replaced it with something we can integrate, a different form of sine squared x. So that's equal to the integral of 1 half minus 1 half cos of 2x dx which is equal to a half x take a quarter sine 2x so integral of cos is sine and then divide by the differential of the bracket which is 2 so that becomes a quarter sine 2x and as always plus c so let's now apply this to the integral of cos squared x with respect to x. So as before, do exactly the same thing. Let's expand cos of 2x, except this time we want it in terms of cos squared x. So knowing the identities, that becomes 2 cos squared x minus 1. If you don't know those identities, you do need to learn them. So add 1 to the other side. So cos of 2x plus 1 equals 2 cos squared x, then divide by 2 to get a half cos 2x plus 1 half equals cos squared x. And again, we've got something we couldn't integrate, and we're able to replace it with something we can integrate. So that becomes the integral of a half cos 2x, plus one half dx equals one quarter sine of two x. So the integral of cos is sine plus one half x and as always plus c. But we can further apply this to even more complicated integrals. Let's have a look at say the integral of cos squared of 6x dx. When comparing to the last one, we always expanded double the angle. So sine squared x, we expanded cos of double x, cos of 2x. Here, cos squared x, we expanded cos of the double of x. So here, we're going to expand cos of the double of 6x. So we're going to expand cos of 12x, which is equal to, and we want this just in terms of cos squared 6x, 2 cos squared of half that angle, as before, minus 1. So it just so happens that our angle here is 12x. So just as, the, just as we did up here, so cos of 2x, is 2 cos squared of half that angle, half of 2x is x, take 1, cos of 12x is 2 cos squared of half that angle, which is 6x, take 1. Rearranging that, so it says cos squared of 6x equals, if we add 1, we get cos of 12x plus 1 equals 2 cos squared of 6x, then half it, we get a half cos of 12x plus one half equals cos 
squared of 6x. So we've got something that we couldn't before integrate that there and we've replaced it with something that we can integrate. So that's the same as the integral of 1 half cos of 12x plus a half dx equals okay so cos integrates to sine and then we divide by the differential the bracket the differential of 12x which is 12 so that becomes a 24th of sine 12x plus one half x plus c for more tutorials like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.